नमः शिवाय इन दिस क्लास इन दिस वीडियो ऑफ क्लास नाइन ज्योग्राफी आई शैल डिस्कस अबाउट द सेकेंड फिजियोग्राफिक डिवीजन ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज द नॉर्दर्न प्लेन्स नाउ वी नो दैट द ग्रेट प्लेन ऑफ द नॉर्थ इंडिया हैज बीन फॉर्म्ड बाय द डिपोजिशनल वर्क मेनली बाय ऑफ रिवर्स द इंदास द गंगा एंड द ब्रह्मपुत्र एंड इज ऑफन टर्म्ड एज द इंदास गंगा ब्रह्मपुत्र प्लेन The plain extends all along the foots of the mountains, with a width varying from one fifty to three hundred kilometers. The longitudinal extent from the Indus Delta to the Ganga Delta is three thousand two hundred kilometers. The plain is narrowest in the Assam, varying between ninety and hundred kilometers, and it is one sixty kilometer wide near Rajmal Hills and two eighty kilometer near Allahabad. So, in this map, see. The plain actually extends from the Indus. Here is the Indus River flowing. So from the Indus to the Brahmaputra, here is the Brahmaputra, and in between there is a Ganga. And the plain is classified into three parts, divided into three parts: Punjab Plain number one, Ganga Plain number two, and number three is the Brahmaputra Plains. And in this plains. There are four types of relief feature. First one is the Bhavar. What is Bhavar? It lies along the um, foot uh, of the Shivalik from the Indus to Tista, and it is a narrow belt of eight to sixteen kilometer uh, wide, comprising of pebble-studded rocks in the shape of the porous beds. These beds are laid down by uh, streams coming from the hills. The porosity of the zone is so high that almost all the streams disappear. The Bhavar of the Punjab is known as Dwarfs in the Assam. Again, we go back to the map. So here, just below the foothill of the Shivalik, Shivalik, here is the narrow patch of the plain, and this narrow patch is known as the Bhavar, just below the Shivalik foothills or Shivalik hills. And uh, this patch of Bhavar is comprised of a uh, porous soil where maximum stream disappear now what is bhavar in the punjab plain this is known as dwarfs in the assam plain and we often call the northern portion of the west bengal is known as the dwarfs especially in the jalpaiguri region next one is the tarai it is situated to the south of the bhavar and run parallel to it so after the uh, shivalik foothill there is a bhavar and after the bhavar is there is a tarai it is marked by the reemergence of the underground streams of the bhavar belt the alluvium deposited here is fine finer that uh, deposited in uh, the bhavar it is uh, an area of excessive dampness and large stretch of uh, stretch are um, uh, stretches are marshy areas due to reemergence of the underground streams Now, what is the difference between the Bhavar and the Tarai? Actually, Bhavar lies along the foot of the Shivaliks from the Indus to Tista, but Tarai is just below the Bhavar plain. If you uh, find out the uh, width of the Bhavar plain is eight to sixteen kilometer, but in case of Tarai, it is twenty to thirty kilometer wide. Bhavar comprises of pebble-studded rocks. That means it's very porous and stream will disappear here. But Tarai, Tarai is compare is completely opposite. It's the dampy waterlogged region and it's converted uh, and uh, it's com it's uh, comprised of the finer alluvium also and this region is not much bhavar is not much suitable for the agriculture because uh, soil cannot hold the water uh, but most of the uh, most of parts of the tarai areas are reclaimed for the agriculture now the bhangar and the khadar what is bhangar it is composed of old alluvium and forms the alluvial terrace above the level of the flat plains it is often in, uh, often uh, comprised of the calcareous concentration known as the kankar so if you see this picture you can see that here is a river valley this is a river valley and beside the river valley there is there is new alluvium which is known as the khadar and beside the khadar there is a older alluvium this is known as the bhangar so what is the main difference between the khadar and bhangar khadar means the newer alluvium beside the river valleys but bhangar means the older alluvium beside the khadar and the flat plain uh, of uttar pradesh 
is also um, uh, is known as the khadar and bet in punjab like uh, the bhavar in punjab and doers in assam here is also the khadar is uh, in uttar pradesh and the same thing is known as bet in punjab so these are the four main characteristic relief features that is bhav bhangar tarai bhav bhavar tarai bhangar khadar so this is the original northern plains for this class this is all in my next class i shall discuss about the peninsular plateau